continuation of the first part of the video for integration. So we have example number 5. We have the integration of cube root of 2x plus 5 dx. Now take note, we have a binomial equation inside our radical or radical. Now in that case, we can rewrite this function into exponential form. Correct? So we can say that it is the integration of 2x plus 5 raised to 1 over 3 dx. Now in this case, we can apply power rule. If it satisfies the condition, integration of u r du. Okay? Now in that case, our u is 1. Our u is 2x plus 5. Okay? So this one is the entire u. And this one here, this exponent, that is our r. Okay? So therefore, our r is equal to one third. But our du here is the derivative of our u, derivative of u. If we derive this one, okay, that would give us du is equal to 2 dx. Okay? Why? It's because if we derive 5, that would give us 0. Tama? So, the only term here that we could derive is just 2x. Then the derivative of 2x is basically 2dx. Tama? So therefore, we can now satisfy ur du form. In this case, our du is 2x plus 5. And our r is 1 third. So we have now u and r. Now, however, our du should be 2dx. But in the original form, we only have dx. So what are we going to do in this case? We need to apply or we need to have a multiplier. Now in this case, to satisfy the value du here, so we need to have a constant 2 since 2dx mandere, tama? So we need to have a constant 2 inside or in the integrand. So in that case, we need to come up with a multiplier 2. This is now our du. Okay? So we have now u, r, du. But take note, the value of our equation changes by the time that we put a multiplier or um, use a multiplier 2. So in order to balance the equation, we need to multiply outside the integration the reciprocal of the multiplier. Since we have multiplier 2 here, then we need to have a multiplier outside the integration that is 1 half. So that our equation or the value of our equation will not change. Since 1 half, one half if we multiply 1 half and 2, that would give us 1. So as if that we are um, using 1 as our multiplier in the equation. So again, we need to multiply, we need to come up a multiplier to satisfy du, which is 2dx. However, if, if we put a multiplier in our integrand, so we need to come up at another constant, which is the reciprocal of the multiplier. Now, in this case, we have 1 half. So that our equation will not change as if we are multiplying 1 in the equation. I hope it makes clear to you. In this case, we have an equation that is 1 half integration of 2x plus 5. One third, then we have 2dx. Now, in this case, this is our u, this is our r, and this one is our du. So, we have already satisfied the power rule or the power formula, which is the integration of u, r, du. So, we can now apply u, r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c. So, in this case, we have 1 half. Our u is 2x plus 5, correct? Our u here is 2x plus 5. That is uh, 2x plus 5 raised to our r, one third, plus 1, all over 
r plus 1, that is 1 third plus 1. Don't forget the arbitrary constant c. Okay, so by further simplifying the equation, then we have 1 half um, 2x plus 5 raised to 1 third plus 1, that is 4 third all over 1 third plus 1, we have 4 third plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, in that case, again, to further simplify, we need to get the reciprocal of the denominator since it is a fraction. So, that is 1 half times 3 fourth, okay, the reciprocal of 4 third, times 2x plus 5 raised to 4 third plus c. And that would give us 1 half, plus, 1 half times 3 fourth, that is 3 over 8, times 2x plus 5 raised to 4 third plus c. So this is now your final answer, or this is now the integration of cube root 2x plus 5 dx. So if you differentiate this function, that would give us this value here. Okay, so since the bus, what I have said, integration is just the antiderivatives or antidifferentiation or the reverse of differentiation. So we have now a um, sixth example. We have the integration of 18x squared times 4 root of 6x cubed plus 5 dx. In order to come up with a judgment on what rule that we have to use in this type of or in this equation, we need to check it first if it satisfies the power rule. And that is the integration of ur du. We can rewrite the equation into, we have 18x squared. Now take note, fourth root, or it can be rewrite into exponential form. That is 6x cubed plus 5. We have fourth root, that is 1 fourth dx. Tama. Now, in that case, our u is what? Our u is 1. Okay? And our r is this 1. So, we have our u here that is 6x cubed plus 5. And our r is 1 fourth. Now, take note we have to determine the value of du in which our du here, that is just the derivative of 6x cubed plus 5. So our derivative of 6x cubed plus 5 is just um, 18x squared dx. Correct? So, let's check it, let's check the equation if we have um, satisfied this form. So we have here our u, this one, and we have here our r, then our du should be 18x squared dx. But in this case, we have dx, and, and fortunately, we have 18x squared here. Correct? We can rewrite our function into 6x cubed plus 5 raised to 1 fourth, then 18x squared dx. Where our 6x cubed plus 5, that is our u, and 1 fourth, that is our r, and this one here is our derivative of u. So, we have already satisfied u r d u. So, we can apply the power rule that is u r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c. So, in this case, our u is 6x cubed plus 5. Tama. Our r is 1 fourth plus 1 over r plus 1 r, uh, sorry, that is 1 fourth plus 1 plus c. Now, take note again, uh, take note, we do not need to have a multiplier, no? Since we, all, we already have satisfied du. Okay? So, we don't need to have a multiplier and its reciprocal outside the integra integration or outside the integral. So, the equation still um, remain. To simplify, that is, we have 
सिक्स एक्स क्यूब प्लस फाइव रेस टू वन फोर्थ प्लस वन डेट इस फाइव फोर्थ ओवर फाइव फोर्थ प्लस सी so we have the final answer so get the reciprocal of the denominator again since it is fraction we have 4 fifth then 6 x cube plus 5 raised to 5 fourth plus c so this is the final answer okay we have last example we have the integration of 2 x over square root of x squared plus 2. Now, in that case, we can rewrite our equation into 2x over x squared plus 2 raised to 1 half dx. Okay? But since our exponent is, un, is in the denominator, so we can move it up by changing the exponent into negative form so we have the integration of 2x that is x squared plus 2 raised to negative 1 half dx correct so in that case our u here is this one then our r is this one okay so our u is x squared plus 2 our r is negative one half and our du the derivative of our u that is 2x dx correct so it is the power chain rule in differential calculus so we have the derivative of x squared that is 2x dx okay so let's try to check if it satisfies the rule of u r du now we have u this one correct then we have r which is um, negative one half now our du should be 2x dx but take note we have 2x inside the integral or at the in the integrand so therefore we need to have a multiplier so it's still the same now we can rewrite our equation into x squared plus 2 raised to negative one half then that is 2x dx or in this one is our du this one is our u and this one is our r so apparently we have um checked and we prove that it satisfies the power form u r du so therefore we can apply the power formula u raised to r plus 1 over r plus 1 plus c. So in that case, our u is x squared plus 2. r is negative 1 half, correct? Negative 1 half plus 1 over negative 1 half plus 1 plus c. Okay, use this um, rule or power rule. And that would give us x squared plus 2 raised to negative 1 half plus 1 that is 1 half okay over negative 1 half plus 1 that is 1 half plus c okay so simplify it further again let's get the reciprocal of the denominator that would give us 2 x squared plus 2 raised to 1 half plus c or we can rewrite this into 2 square root of x squared plus 2 plus c. So this is now your final answer. Okay guys, that's it for integration using power rule. So I hope you like it. Please subscribe for more videos and thank you for listening.